I have this theory that the more you yawn, the more you like me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So continue to yawn. Continue to allow that air in. When you're relaxed, you can't be what's the word? Anxious. Stressed. Stressed. Nobody can be relaxed and stressed at the same time. Can anyone here be both? So it's not possible. So therefore, obviously, if you're relaxed, if you learn how to relax, if you can relax on demand, whatever is going on, you're not going to be stressed. How good is that? It's a good system, you know, to, to just live by, generally. Anyone ever had this experience? So it's an Ayurvedic practice called Shirudhara. And it's where they just constantly pour the oil on the head and do this thing. Can you imagine now that? How does that feel? She, she looks quite blissed out, doesn't she? If you relax your face, and it doesn't matter how, you actually relax all the micro muscles that hold on to any tension, even microscopic tension. You then relax your, your skin and your skin smooths itself out. And in the neurology, your relaxed face tells your body that you are prioritizing calm, stillness, peace of mind. And it is just that simple relaxing your face and it takes like 20 years off your face i mean i'm 80, 86 <laughs> next year so it's doing really well <laughs> so, do you know what i mean thanks i know amazing actually i'm turning 50 next year to be honest but most people don't think that i'm about to turn 50. i believe it's this I really do. I'm nearly asleep. I'm not going to sleep well. That is good. I need to turn my badges around because Joan, Charlie, Emma. Hello. <laughs> okay. I would like you to write whatever it is you want to write if you haven't done already on your notepad. Imagine that put your notepads down and get yourself in a comfortable position. All right, you comfortable ladies? Nice. So as you get yourself comfortable, you might like to close your eyes. And just remember closing your eyes to the outside world opens up your eyes to the inside world. And that's all we're doing. We're going on a little journey. And I know you can relax. You can relax if you want to. You can go into that state of deep relaxation, whatever that means to you. I don't know what it means to you because my version of relaxation might not be your version of relaxation. So just get yourself to that point where you are relaxing. Think about what you might do to relax, whether that might be to relax all the muscles in your forehead or your face. Feeling them softening, feeling them almost like melting and dissolving. Notice that you can relax your face easily. Notice you can relax your shoulders. Notice them drop away from your ears. Notice that you can relax your spine even though you're sitting up. Imagine there's a spiral of relaxation that's traveling down your spine around and around and around each vertebrae piece by piece. Imagine that each spiral of relaxation down your spine is relaxing you just a little bit more so that by the time the spiral gets to the middle of your spine you're 50 percent more relaxed than you were before and as the spiral gets all the way down to the base of your spine and only when it gets there in your own way in your own time when it gets right down to the bottom of your spine you are a hundred percent more relaxed than you were before, whatever that means to you. Do your own thing. 
relaxation happens in its own way and in its own time and at its own pace. And some people like to relax really fast, like when they go into one of those really posh hotel showers and switch it on and feel that hot water relaxing them from head to toe and you can almost see the stress dissolving away down the plug hole. Other people like to relax really slowly, just checking in with different bits, different parts of themselves. As you uncross your legs and feel your legs relaxing, noticing how you can connect your feet with the floor, relaxing all the way down from the top of your legs, down into your feet, down into your toes, one by one, just letting go. Now, while you're relaxing, I'd like to open your eyes and look at me. And as you open up your eyes, fluttering them open, then close your eyes back down again. And now, as you close your eyes back down, imagine that that relaxation goes from the top of your head down into the tips of your toes. As you relax a little bit deeper than you were before, just allowing that relaxation to do what it needs to do. And as you relax all the way down to the tips of your toes, as you relax down into the tips of your fingers, just notice that feeling of relaxation traveling around you like it's circulating all around your body. And as it circulates all around your body, it circulates all around your mind. And some people feel a bit comfortably heavy, heavier in the body, and other people feel lightness in the mind, almost as if the mind wakes up and comes out to play. And as you relax your mind, your emotions can also begin to settle and as you hear the sound of my voice just open up your eyes a little bit and look at me letting the light in fluttering them open fluttering them open and letting the light in and as you close your eyes back down close your eyes back down and get back down to that state of very very quiet stillness where everything is peaceful that part of you where you can connect to where you know what to do and you know what to say and you know how to say it you know what to say to whoever it is you need to say it you know what to say in an email if you need to send an email or you know how to receive that email with a feeling of neutrality and even if the kids are around and they're asking for your attention and they're demanding things from you you have this presence of mind with them you're there sharing that space and it's interesting as you're in this space right here, right now, this is where you collect your energy, a bit like here is where you charge yourself up and increase your energy and battery power. And as you allow the energy to come back into your body, open your eyes, fluttering them open and looking at me. And as you look at me, allow your eyes to close back down again, down you go, back into that lovely state of quiet, deep relaxation where there is only you and the sound of my voice. And here is where you get stuff done. Here is where you move forward. Here is where you know exactly what to say and exactly what to do and exactly how to prioritize your time and whatever you've got going on. Here is where any of that self-doubt that you used to have leaves you completely. In fact, it fills you up with certainty, with compassion, with wisdom. And as you connect into this part of you, you absolutely let go of frustration. You let go of irritation and you are filled with confidence and self-belief and self-worth and self-value and self-assurity. And this is where you are at your best. And now, as you go down the pathway, there's a little box at the end of the pathway. And as you get to that box, you realize it's a treasure chest. Make this vivid in your mind. This treasure chest is the treasure chest that only lives in your mind. As you open up the treasure chest, opening up, really visualizing it if you can, be there. As you open up the treasure chest with the key that's in your hand, you can actually hear it unlock itself. And as the treasure chest opens, inside the treasure chest, there is a bottle. The bottle says a word on it. And that word is unique to you. Read the word. 
This is the thing that you need most today, right here, right now. And this bottle with that word on it is your potion. And the potion is the color that you would like it to be. So I'd like you to imagine this potion is very safe and it's gonna taste nice. So you unscrew the top of this bottle and you drink the potion. And you can now imagine what that feels like. As you're drinking this potion filled with this word, you are being filled from the inside out with this feeling that is effervescent, that is positive, that is lovely, that is deeply reassuring and is completely safe. And now, as you bring your attention back into the room, five, you can hear my voice clearly, four, feeling the seat underneath you, three, feeling the clothes against your skin, two, wiggling your fingers and toes, and one, when you're ready, coming back into the room and opening your eyes. Well done, you. Give yourself a clap. That was good. There was such a nice energy in the room. It was so still and peaceful and calm. Lovely. We've only got four minutes left. So, I can't ask all of you how that was, but how was it? <laughs> Everyone nodding. Anyone not good? How many minutes was that? How many minutes do you think it was? I don't, I don't have any recall. Yeah. How many minutes? Four, three, four. Two, three, five. That was 10 minutes. Wow. Yeah. Wow. I could have gone on for an hour, <laughs> but I'm not allowed. <laughs> so that's good. Yeah. You did really, really well. And that's what you can do now. Bring that awareness into your everyday living reality. So if you want to practice it, I have an app and it's called Dicti. And on there, there's two fractionation audios. So if you just want to get good at this, all I say is get good at it, <laughs> practice, use it, do it again and again and again. There's also other audios on the app. Thank you, lady. Thank Sorry. You. <laughs> there's also other audios on the app that um, there's 24 audios on there. But yeah, if you're into this and you want to keep going, that's a good place to start. Um, and I have a message for you. This is my message for you. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you very, very much for coming. And I hope you have a lovely rest of your conference. Thank you. Thank you.